Jacksonville continues to be the city of renderings as developers are unveiling more projects they hope will be built throughout the city. Tonight, we're taking a look at another dream on the south bank along the river that's well beyond a rendering. Construction's underway. It's called River's Edge next to the Duval County School Board building. An event began just an hour ago to unveil the project, and that's where News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett joins us live. Jim. You know, I've been to many of these events where they announced these projects are taking place. This one, I got to tell you, it's already being built, and it really does seem like it's going to happen. That's what they did, did back here on, on the, the river right here. Preston Hollow, the developer, here on River's Edge, basically talking about what's going to take place. And I'll tell you, I know it's hard to see at night. Construction has already started on this, but there's a lot of history at this place where I'm standing right now in the South Bank, and I want to show you what that's all about. Seen a lot of history on this site, but I'm going to take you back 21 years ago. That's when a power plant was sitting here, the Southside Generating Station run by JEA. And what they had to do to clear this out because it wasn't needed anymore, they did this. They blew it up, imploded it. Not a lot happened after that, but this became an area that was a landmark for Jacksonville in a way. Remember when we got the Super Bowl in 2005? Well, this is where they held the NFL experience, and thousands and thousands of people gathered here to participate in Super Bowl events. Well, then talk of development came up, and then this area, well, it was going to become a place where people could get healthy. In fact, developers purchased the land from JEA, and they were going to turn this into healthy town, have healthy housing, have events where people could exercise, people could take advantage of a healthy lifestyle. Well, that never actually was built. The property, again, was then redeveloped, and it was going to become, at that time, the district. And you remember hearing about the district? That's where we had shops, we had stores, we had residential housing. That what was going to take place around here in 2017, 2018. But after that, now it's become River's Edge, and that's what you're seeing today, and that's the dream that they hope to develop here on the South Bank. And I put that question to the mayor and to others out here, is this really going to happen? We've seen these renderings, even though construction has begun. And I asked the managing director of Preston Hollow, the people who are now developing this, that question. How do we know this is really going to happen? Well, because We've done what we said we're going to do. Uh, you know, all of the infrastructure that we've been working on for the last two years is in the ground, uh, in addition to about $40 million of our own money. And uh, we are letting contracts on all the parks and all of the amenities, uh, you know, within the next 30 days. And uh, we've made a commitment to the city to deliver those by the end of uh, 2024. And I got to tell you, looking at this, the renderings, the artwork, the interactive artwork they're going to put in here is amazing. We could see the parks where they're going to start developing those by the first of this year. A lot of this should be done about a year from now. So we're going to see a lot of work happening on the South Bank. For now, I'm live on the South Bank. Jim Pigott, Channel 4, The Local Station.